going on, yo? So, it finally happened. Microsoft, after struggling with the Avengers, finally was able to buy themselves their sweet half of the gaming industry. Okay, they, they literally just bought like everybody and like, hey, fuck it. We're going to buy all of it. And I'm just here to ask myself, do we really fucking care? I'm just being honest. Do we really care? Listen. So, Microsoft bought a bunch of studios. Yesterday, they bought Activision Blizzard. And with Activision Blizzard, they got a bunch of studios. They got Activision Shanghai Studio, Beanox, Demon Wear, Digital Legends Entertainment, High Moon Studios, Infinity Ward, Raven Software, Sledgehammer Games, Solid State Studios, excuse me, Toys for Bob, and Treyarch. These are their Activision Studios and their Blizzard Studios together with King are Blizzard Albany, Blizzard Boston, Blizzard Irving, and King Publishing. So, these are all of the little studios they bought just yesterday. Already in 2021, they took over a couple of other studios, namely um, Cinemax. And part of Cinemax were a couple of studios, Bethesda, Alpha Dog, Arcane, It Software, Machine Games, Roundhouse Studios, Tangles, Gameworks, Cinemax Online Studios. Holy shit, right? And over the last couple of years, they also bought Mojang, Compulsion Games, In Exile, Ninja Theory, Obsidian Entertainment, Playground Games, Undead Labs, Double Fine Productions, right? And and for their, for their Microsoft exclusive, their Xbox exclusives, they have all these little um, companies like 343, Rare, Coalition, all of these companies. Well, that's a lot of companies Microsoft owns, right? Listen, I'm not the one to hate. I just see this discussion, especially by people that enjoy Blizzard games. Um, for some reason, these people think that everything is going to change and now gaming blizzard games are going to be amazing again and i'm just asking myself have we been watching the same microsoft over the last couple of years like listen i love halo okay i really do love halo i was playing the fuck out of infinite when it came out i almost got exalted and then the game was just dead it was dead because microsoft decided to not release proper amounts of content it was dead because Microsoft decided to release basically the beta as the full game. The full game was the beta. Now that's a lot of damage! Microsoft has been letting people down since years. Microsoft has been letting people down with Redfall, and Microsoft has been letting people down with Starfield again. Now, let's look at how many people actually worked in these different studios, right? So, if we just go at, like, Activision Blizzard, um, how many employees they did have, it's kind of insane. Because I just need to think, I, I need, to, need to talk about it. So, Activision Blizzard has roundabout of 13,000 uh, um, employees, right? 13,000 employees. That's 13,000 employees that now have to be managed by Microsoft. Right? It, it, they, they all now have to be managed by Microsoft. I'm sure that um, in some sort of way, these departments will be able to keep their leadership and they would just like be like sub-departments in it. But like now, Microsoft has to take care of 13,000 extra employees just in with this one company, just with Activision Blizzard, 13,000 employees. Now, look, I am not the one who's out here trying to spread doom and gloom over this. You know what I'm saying? I don't really care. The reason I don't care is because all the games they uh, that are coming out for this aren't really my forte anymore. I fucking despise Retail WoW. I love Classic, but like Retail WoW is is so sad what the fuck they've done with that. Um, I don't play any Blizzard games anymore. I sold Diablo 4 because I was so mad at the way, how bad this game is. Diablo 4 is so overrated. I, I quit it after 15 hours. Um, 
Overwatch 2, I was the biggest Overwatch 1 fan, okay? I was masters in Overwatch 1. I've spent thousands of hours in Overwatch 1. And what are we what are we blessed with? What are we blessed with? This disgusting abomination of a video game. Now, these are all Activision Blizzard things, right? But why do we think that Microsoft is the one to save them? Why, are we, why do we think Microsoft is the one to change the track record? Well, if we look at the track record that Microsoft has so far, it's Redfall and Starfield. Starfield is sitting at an abysmal 69% at Steam right now. Okay, so actually, uh, IGN 7 out of 10 was probably the most accurate statement that has been put out there by all these big gaming corporations who all were like, oh, this game is a 10 out of 10. Most people think it's a, it's a 7 out of 10. I downloaded it. I have horrible performance on my rig. I'm, I refuse to play a first-person shooter with horrible performance. I've got into the game for like 4 hours. I, was, I, wasn't, I, wasn't, I just have, haven't come back to it yet. I still have it on my PC. I still have it on there. So, arguably, Microsoft over the last couple of years has basically worsened their IPs arguably so for example some of the people that um it's one thing that has gotten worse over the years is halo games and it's not even close like i said halo infinite the base game of halo infinite is a good game but whatever the fuck they like did out of that game it's not good it's a waste of a lot of things and it's really horrible and sad to see that after all these years they really didn't still put all the effort into the game that they should have there's a lack of content still, um, or not really a lack of content. There's a lack of, there was a lack of content at the relevant time, right? And I'm just really worrying that Microsoft is not able to lift all these IPs up off their feet. Will they get better? Will it, will it get worse? That's the question we will see in a couple of years, but... With how Redfall turned out and with how Starfield turned out, I don't really see how people are hyped about Microsoft acquiring all of these companies for $68 billion. Like, I really don't. I don't care. I have a PlayStation. I have a PC. I use the PC for Game Pass. Everything is coming out on Game Pass anyway. I play PlayStation exclusives because I think they're just... Since, like, PlayStation 3 times... PlayStation exclusives have been absolutely superior to Xbox exclusives. Um, and I think it's just a sad thing. There's like barely any competition between these two anymore. And they might be able to get to, to, to build up this new uh, competition with all of the games and all of these IPs that they now own and now have. But what I'm asking myself is... It's so many IPs, it's so many things that you buy at once, right? How are you going to manage to deliver on all of those? I just don't think it's going to be as great as people are hoping to be, especially if I look at the World of Warcraft crowd. Bobby Kotick, that slimy fucking creepy demon is finally going. And a lot of people are really hyped. They, they, they see this as their way of finally getting back to the good old days and i think people are really in the wrong for thinking that i think i i think it might get really disappointing i hope not i hope that it's not going to be disappointing that's the least thing i want i want good video games but i'm just really skeptical and i'm really wondering why this discourse is that of like oh here comes the savior microsoft and they're going to make these games great when they haven't been great in years and they they are not trying to make them great so i just hope that microsoft is able to pull off the things that they haven't been able to pull off for like the last couple of years um and i think we will see how they do pretty shortly i'm pretty i'm pretty sure that surely uh shortly they will add a bunch of games first off onto their game pass system but I'm hyped to see the first games they release and how they are received because I think that's going to be um, paving the way for the future. It's going to be paving the way of like how we look at Microsoft games and Microsoft exclusives now in this new era of 
uh, Microsoft owns everything. So what is your opinion? Do you think Microsoft will whip it around? Do you think they will fuck it up? Let me know down there in the comments and let me know which one of the uh, new IPs Microsoft acquired you're most hyped about. See you.